stopped about three or four feet away from the ramps. So, and if I need to make any adjustments, I already have the room to do it to prevent from having the bag up. And then if I'm lined up good, got the green light, I just go straight on the ramps. need to make any adjustments but I got out and looked just for safety a second time we're looking pretty good doing this most of the time I'll be by myself so it's always good practice to get out and look even if you know you got it it's always good practice like I said just to get out and look two or three times just to make sure because one you at stake if anything happens you know you liable for any damages you responsible for them. so we're in the business to make money not to pay it out so always get out and look and make sure you lined up properly before you go ahead and go up and rent. Get out. Just low 
on one vehicle right now, so I pretty much want to have the vehicle not over the not not over the very back of the trailer, but not in the middle or at the front either. You want to kind of steal the way over the axle. So this would be a good spot to put an SUV of this size. Let's take one vehicle right now. This would be a good spot for it. Having it at the back, keep you from having as much trailer sway when you're going down those highways at 55 to 60 miles an hour. So uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and secure the vehicle. We use over the tie straps to do those. Uh, I have the Vulcan straps, so you'll see me here in a second. Go ahead and get the vehicle secured. I put my rounds back up, and we're good to go. All right, when I put my straps on, what I would typically try to do is, um, I will have the action toward the back of the vehicle and the front of the vehicle on the front side because when I'm ratcheting, if I'm using, if I'm doing this on a, a lower sitting vehicle, if I put this ratchet in the front, the body panel it will be in the way. This is an SUV, so not as much of a problem on this car, uh, but if I was doing like a car that sat real low, I want to have a ratchet on the back to keep from having the, the ratchet handle in the way when I'm trying to tighten it the body panel. So with this truck, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to practice what I normally do, and I'm going to have to ratchet it towards the back of the vehicle. Enjoy watching. Check me out on the next one. Square